Greetings and thank you so much for the opportunity to come your way and spend a few moments with you in the Word of God. This week we are addressing the issue of strange doctrines in the church at large. It is rather disappointing to see all kinds of things being spoken of from behind the pulpit where the Word of God is to be ministered from and people who give their time to listen to the Word of God uh, not necessarily being fed with pure word, but rather strange doctrines being spoken from, spoken from the pulpit. And so we're establishing criteria on how you as a believer, as, as you listen to the word of God, can evaluate whether this is good things to hear, listen to. Today I want to emphasize the importance of reverence in the ministry of the word, in the preaching and the teaching of the Word, that there is integrity, purity, sound doctrine, sound speech. Paul writes in Titus chapter 2, verses 1, 7, and 8, he says to Timothy, But as for you, speaking the things which are proper for sound doctrine. So he's saying, Timothy, Titus, I want you to maintain things, I want you to speak things that are sound doctrine. And then he goes on in verse 7, In all things show yourself to be a pattern of good works, in doctrine, that is in your teaching, show integrity, reverence, incorruptibility, and sound speech that cannot be condemned, that, that one who is an opponent may be ashamed, having nothing evil to say of you. Notice what Paul is telling Tim, Titus, saying, Titus, you've, your life's got to be a pattern of example for good works. So as a minister of God, your life must first demonstrate it. And then he says, in their teaching, you've got to show integrity, you got to show reverence. You got to show incorruptibility, that is, don't change, don't decay. And you got to maintain sound speech that cannot be condemned. It's very sad that Christians tolerate filthy speech from the pulpit or ridiculous speech from the pulpit. Whereas the instruction in Scripture is you, the person ministering the Word of God should do it with reverence. There's got to be integrity and honesty and decency. There's got to be sound speech that cannot be condemned. That is the ministry of the word. And sad to say that many pulpits don't have that. And yet, believers sit and listen. So I want to challenge you. If you are going to feed yourself with various and strange doctrines, as good as eating bad food is going to destroy you. Got to evaluate what you're preaching, what you're list, the preaching and the teaching you're listening to, and does it meet the biblical criteria of integrity, reverence, incorruptibility, and sound speech? And as a person ministering the word, holding up a life that is an example of good works, if not, then you need to reconsider whether that's what you want to feed your heart with. So remember, reverence. The Word of God is to be handled with reverence. Let's pray. Father, we honor you. We honor your words. And we pray that you help us be discerning of what we hear, of the preaching, of the teaching that we receive so that, God, we can nourish our hearts with sound words, words that are strength to our inner person and help us grow into Christ's likeness. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.